Hey class, welcome back. We're still talking about the American Revolution today and we're talking about an important battle. It took place right outside of Boston, the Battle of Bunker Hill. Uh, the British had occupied Boston during this time and the Americans wanted Boston back and they were trying to take it over and they had gotten word that the British were gonna try to move to get a higher ground to Bunker Hill. So they moved their, their people in place at Bunker Hill. And although they wound up losing the hill, Bunker Hill, they had a lot of casualties that happened for the uh, the British. And, and it, it's kind of funny, it's it's the Battle of Bunker Hill, but it actually, most of the fighting took part in on Breed's Hill. So uh, we'll get into that in just a minute. But uh, that's what we're talking about today is, is the Battle of Bunker Hill. It took place on June the 17th, 1775. It was just a few months after the start of the American Revolutionary War. Uh, Boston was being run, overrun by thousands of American militia and the British were trying to keep control of the city. Like I said, they had control of the city at this time and the valuable seaports because you know they wanted to be able to bring their Navy in and everything through these seaports and, uh, and supplies and everything else. So they decided to take two hills, the British did. Bunker and Breeds in order to gain a tactical advantage over over the Americans that were stationed outside of it. And uh, they heard about it, so they moved their forces in secret to the hills overnight to defend it. What started it? The Battle of Bunker Hill took place on June 17, 1775, just a few months after the start of the American Revolutionary War. Boston was being besieged by thousands of American militia. The British were trying to keep control of the city and control its valuable seaports. The British decided to take two hills, Bunker and Breeds, in order to gain a tactical advantage. The American forces heard about it and went to defend the hills. All right. So where did it take place? Like I said, it seemed like a really easy question, but there were two hills that the British wanted to take in order to be able to bombard the Americans from a distance. It was Bunker Hill and Breed's Hill. And uh, the Battle of Bunker Hill actually took place mostly on Breed's Hill, but it's called the Battle of Bunker Hill because they thought they were on Bunker Hill. So it, it's kind of a funny mistake, but you know, that's where it took place was, was Breed's Hill instead of Bunker Hill, even though it's called the Battle of Bunker Hill. Where did it take place? This seems like the easiest question ever, doesn't it? Well, not really. There were two hills that the British wanted to take in order to be able to bombard the Americans from a distance. These were Breed's Hill and Bunker Hill. The Battle of Bunker Hill actually took place mostly on Breed's Hill. It's only called the Battle of Bunker Hill because the army thought they were on Bunker Hill. Sort of a funny mistake and it makes for a good trick question. All right, so the leaders. The leaders were these men right here. Uh, Colonel William Prescott and British General William Howe. Uh, the British were led by by William Howe. The Americans were led by by William Prescott, and uh, John Pitcairn was also there, and he was one of the British leaders that was was at the fighting at Lexington when the Revolutionary War began. And uh, Israel Putnam was also there, and leading Patriot Dr. Joseph Warren was part of the battle. He was killed during the fight. And he was a very important man with the Sons of Liberty. And he was so well liked, more than likely, he would have went on if he had lived and be become the first president instead of George Washington. That's how well liked and well loved he was. But, uh, but he was killed during this battle. The leaders. The British were led up the hill by we General William Howe. The Americans were led by Colonel William Prescott. Maybe this should have been called the Battle of Williams. Major John Pitcairn was also one of the British leaders. He was in command of the troops that started the fighting at Lexington that began the Revolutionary War. From the American side, Israel Putnam was the general in charge. Also, a leading patriot, Dr. Joseph Warren, was part of the battle. He was killed during the fighting. So what happened at this battle? If you look here, it's the Battle of Bunker Hill. The, the, all these arrows are probably confusing, but this is what were they they took place. Uh, the American forces learned that the British were planning on taking over these hills and so they could gain an advantage over the Americans. Uh, the Americans secretly moved their troops onto Bunker and Breed's Hill during the middle of the night and uh, just outside of Boston in, in Charleston, Massachusetts. 
what happened at the battle. The American forces learned that the British were planning on taking over the hills around Boston in order to gain a tactical advantage. As a result of this information, the Americans secretly moved their troops onto Bunker and Breed's Hill, two unoccupied hills just outside of Boston in Charlestown, Massachusetts. All right, so the battle itself. They built up fortifications during the, during the middle of the night, and they prepared for the battle. And when the British realized what happened, the British attacked, all right? And their commander, William Hale, he led three different charges up Breed's Hill. Uh, the Americans fought back the first two charges, but they started running out of ammunition. I mean, they were using anything they could find, okay? They were using nails to put it in the pack down in here, to whatever, whatever they could find. That's how low on ammunition they were. And, uh, but they had to retreat at the third charge because they were, like I said, they were out of ammunition. So the British gained the hill, but they, but they lost a whole, whole lot of men. Uh, there were about 226 British that were killed, about 800 that were wounded, and the Americans didn't suffer nearly as many losses. So although they lost the hill, the Americans did, it was kind of a small victory for them because they were able to take out some of these soldiers that were, that were occupying uh, Boston, which is what they wanted. The battle itself. They built up fortifications during the night and prepared for battle. The next day, when the British realized what had happened, the British attacked. Their commander, William Howe, led three charges up Breed's Hill. The Americans fought back the first two charges, but started to run out of ammunition and had to retreat at the third charge. The British gained the hill, but their costs were great. Around 226 British were killed and 800 wounded, while the Americans did not suffer nearly as many casualties. All right, so as a result of the battle, Although the British won the hill, they paid a heavy price with so many soldiers dying, including a lot of their officers. It wasn't just soldiers, they, they, they lost a lot of officers too. And it gave the Americans courage to know, hey, we can stand up to the British in battle. And more and more colonists joined the army after this battle and the revolution continued to get bigger and stronger. Result of the battle. Although the British won the hill in the battle, they paid heavy costs with so many soldiers dying, including many officers. This gave the Americans courage to know that they could stand up to the British in battle. Many more colonists joined the army after this battle, and the revolution continued to grow in strength. All right, comprehensive questions. On what two hills did the battle take place? A, Breed's Hill and Bunker Hill, B, Sharon Hill, or C, Blueberry Hill? It was A, on Breed's Hill and Bunker Hill is where the two battles took place. Ding, ding, ding. Most of the fight, fighting was taking place on Breed's Hill, even though it's called the Battle of Bunker Hill. Number two, who were the commanders for the battle? A, Benedict Arnold, B, Colonel William Prescott, and General William Hale, or C, John Hancock and Samuel Adams. The two commanders for the battle were William Prescott and William Hale. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number three, why did the Americans occupy the hill? A, because they could, B, to gain an advantage, or C, to roll down it. They wanted to gain, the Americans wanted to gain an advantage when they heard about the British wanting to gain an advantage. So they went and they occupied the hill then. They went and took over when they found out they were going to come and try to uh, occupy the hill. So, ding, ding, ding. To gain an we advantage. Have a how many times did the British charge before the Americans retreated? A, one, B, 10, or C, three times? It was C, three times. They, they charged three times before the Americans retreated. They started running out of ammunition. And like I said, they were shooting anything they could at them. They were packing their guns with nails and everything else, trying to shoot, uh, shoot at them because they, they were out of ammunition. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Uh, number five, what was the result of the battle? A, the British took the hill. B, the Americans won. Or C, Mr. Sean won. It was A, the British took the hill. The British took the hill, but the Americans had a whole lot less casualties and people killed in, during this battle. And it, it, it was kind of a small victory for the Americans because, because they didn't lose as many, as many people. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. And that is all for the Battle of Bunker Hill, which actually took place on Breed's Hill. Uh, be sure you go on Schoology. Go through this again. Uh, answer the comprehension questions yourself and then turn it in so you get credit.
And I will see you next time as we talk about the American allies, which were essential to the American Revolution. Without our allies, uh, the Americans would not have won this war more than likely. So you all have a good day, and I will see you next time.